What's going on, y'all? It's Case Stu to go for Vernon Speak Sports. And I'm going to tell y'all, man, it is nothing worse than your favorite football team having to pay a, play a 12 o'clock game. Oh, man. And how many of y'all sit around and y'all like, okay, man, we got to win this game because we don't want to play at 12 o'clock this week. That's just the worst, especially to see that Facebook uh, notification or that social media notification or or because see I'm I'm the type of guy where with my favorite team I look at you know Auburn football I Google them off and on throughout the day because I just want to know what the latest news is right and when I see that thing to where the schedule the the times have been set for the ball game and that game is at twelve o'clock I'm like oh man especially when you get down to the meat of the season, because, you know, during the meat of the season, you're playing those the, those crucial SEC football games. And, you know, those games are critical. And the last thing you want is your team playing that critical SEC football game at 12 o'clock. Oh, my God. So, you know, I know it's something that they, they probably can't change because of all of the logistics of, um, TV time and you know they want to they want to set the games up based on the interest of the crowd and stuff like that but man 12 o'clock games are the absolute worst and all y'all know it you know it when you see your team up there's that 12 o'clock game you're like oh my goodness we're playing at 12 o'clock this week you know number one one of the reasons why 12 o'clock games are they're just inconvenient you know you you most people wake up on a Saturday morning around nine o'clock. And if it's your team, you want to do some tailgating. You want to do like, if you're doing it at the house, um, you want to do some tailgate partying or whatever for your team. And if your team plays at 12 o'clock, it's going to be a a brunch out that thing. Right? So that's one thing that's terrible. Number two, you got to look at the actual players. Those guys have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning to get ready for a game. Um, You know, they have to, it's, it's like they have to, compress their normal uh their normal routine on a saturday got to compress that thing so you you looking at guys having to get up at four o'clock in the morning and you know the pre-game meal and then the the preparation for the game is you got to compress too much and and teams don't perform at the level that they normally perform number three it's terrible when marquee matchups are at 12 o'clock like say it's Auburn and Texas A&M, bad 12 o'clock game. That's usually a 3.30 game or a 7 o'clock game. Man, I'll even take 4 o'clock on the SEC Network alternative channel for that game, right? Same way with Georgia. Georgia played Missouri at 12 o'clock. Dangerous game. Missouri's not a, 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 a like an elite team, but there's a team that can sneak up on you. So those 12 o'clock games can be very dangerous, Especially when you start getting into conference play. This is an off-season rant, baby. I, I just had to think about it. Like, 12 o'clock? Man, I hate those games. I know most of y'all hate them, too. Um, so, I know, I know they can't abolish them because you got so many games, especially with the advent of the SEC Network. They're trying to get all those games in, and you got partnerships with ESPN. They got their 12 o'clock thing going on. And they got and, and and you know from a marketing standpoint, they have to put the best games on at the right time. And if your team is not trending as a as a winning team, guess what? Twelve o'clock, baby. Or if say for instance there's a you know more important game like let's just say Alabama and LSU, you already know no matter what's going on, Alabama and LSU ain't being played at twelve o'clock, right? So I know y'all are with me. 12 o'clock games are the worst, but it's absolutely, it is what it is. But I know y'all feel me on on the 12 o'clock thing. Once again, it's k Sue to go for Vernon Speak Sports. Man, I can't stand 12 o'clock games, especially if it's my team playing, baby. You all take it easy.